decided that I am going to remodel my kitchen. And it's going to be done in three different stages. First of all, we are going to be redoing the tile. We're going to take out this pink that has pits and the grout is tired and worn out and there's wearing out of the tile in different places. So we're going to put in this granite tile along with this nice glass tile backsplash. Then we are going to be putting in a new sink and because this one's kind of tired and old. And then we're going to refurbish the cabinets with um, these new hardware and we're going to give it a fresh coat of paint. As you can see, we've already added a few different stainless steel fixtures and we've already taken out our old um, oven. So, are you ready to get started? Well, before I make too much of a mess in here, I'm going to take a few simple measurements. And one of the things that I have to help me is a visual guide. I drew a basic outline of what our kitchen tile counters look like and I'm going to draw in the measurements where I measure them. Alright, so from about here, so that's about 72 inches by about 30 and a half inches. So I'm going to write those down. And from here to here, it's about 75 inches. Alright, so now I just got to measure the rest of it. I've done the math and I've figured out that there's about 57 square feet of countertop space and there's about 42 feet squared of backsplash available. Alright, now comes for the really fun part, the demolition. Now, you want to make sure that you have all the proper equipment. First of all, either a hammer or a mallet and a masonry chisel. Also, most importantly, your safety goggles. Now, um, what, what we're going to find, we're not quite sure when we go underneath, but we're hoping that the foundation is good enough that we won't have to put down plywood and tile board. If, we, if it's not good enough, then we'll just have to do that. All right, let's get started. for about 10 minutes now and I've discovered the most useful tools for the job. One is a sledgehammer and the second is a finer point uh, masonry chisel. Now look at that, multiple sections came out all at once. Then it looks. I think I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. I figured out, well I've had plenty of time to do that while I'm whacking away, that I have about 57 square feet of tile to upheave. And each of those tiles, in uh, each of those square feet, it takes about nine tiles to fill up that square foot, and each of those tiles takes about ten good whacks with a hammer to get it up. So, I figure that it's about a little over 5,000 wax to get all this tile up and into the garbage can. And with just the meager bit that I've done so far, I figure I have about 4,500 wax to go. So, you know, these guns, yeah, they'll be a little bit bigger tomorrow. <laughs> Here's a few tips that I have learned in this long process of undoing the tiles. Well, I started wearing a glove once I started getting scrapes and cuts and all kinds of nasty things flying at my hand, especially when you're scraping along to get that nice low leverage. So, I recommend at least one glove, if not two, whatever you need. And look, almost done. All we need is about, uh, I'd say, 500 more good wax and we'll be all done with the demolition. And I 
another few things that I found is if you hit it in a few places, I don't know if you noticed, but all these tiles in this line started coming up. If you hit it in a few good places, they'll all come up at once. All right, well, that's where we're at for tonight. It's been about three hours so far, and we've gotten up all the tile on the counters. All right, I've done some thinking, and I'm looking around here, and I'm thinking the best thing to do would be to strip the counter of all the old concrete. Because, as you can see, it's, we've gone down to the chicken wire in a few places and we have these major gaps along the sink. So, what we're going to do is we're going to strip the concrete and then we're going to put down new plywood and concrete board so that we have a better base for our granite tile. At the same time, we are going to take off this old tile backsplash and we're going to replace it with new tile backsplash. This is exploding off. chisel because honestly the backsplash was impossible to remove so this has cut my um, my tile removing time in half and I am very much happy that we got this well that's about um 15 hours worth of work and we have all the demolition done in the kitchen. All that's left to do is clean up and then start on laying down the tile and the counters. This is about, when we're all done, we'll have about a thousand dollars into this project. When we originally had $26,000 estimate for a, um, a construction people to help um, take care of the tile and put on new countertops. So was it worth it? I think so. I think you'll notice that we now have our first piece of plywood down and we have it centered in the middle of the window and the cabinets. And that's done mostly for aesthetic person reasons but also because it's just more practical. And what we decided is that we'd use the outside of the outline because it's just, it's easier to use and it's easier to square the sink. So we taped it on and next we're going to outline the middle with a sharpie and then we'll be good to start cutting. Alright, so we have lined up four corner holes so that it makes it a lot easier so that the jigsaw, place, the jigsaw blade can cut it up. All right, where we left off, we were just barely drilling the hole for the sink. So right now, we've put in all the plywood on the counters, and now right now, I'm just finishing up doing a couple of the screws, and I'm going to countersink the screws first, and then I'm going to put them in. We are using half-inch exterior grade plywood recommended for underneath the cement board. All right.
just finished putting in the cement board, and this is called a um, cement board screw, and it's designed so that it doesn't it doesn't pop up and like break your tile. 